Hello S2 Modern Studies and welcome to your next lesson from the Crime Unit which is looking at Surveillance. Now in your jotters, if you want to take a new heading for today which is Surveillance, what is it and how do the police use it? Or if you're doing this on a Word document, if you want to take the heading Surveillance, what is it and how do the police use it? Now some pictures here which will relate to some of the things we're going to cover today. You've obviously got in the top left hand corner there a drone with cameras on it and you've got the police in the background controlling the drone so that's one way that they look to use surveillance. You've got police there in a traffic car looking for people who are maybe speeding. On the bottom left hand corner, in the top right hand corner you've got a form of surveillance known as CCTV. And the bottom right hand corner you have a facial recognition picture which we'll be discussing today as well. So what are we learning today? Today we're going to look at surveillance methods used by Police Scotland. So by the end of the lesson, this is your two main aims. So you should be able to firstly decide the different surveillance methods used by the police and secondly decide if you think facial recognition should be used by Police Scotland. Now task one, what is surveillance? Now surveillance is actually a close observation, especially of a suspected spy or criminal. So about watching closely a suspected spy or criminal. Now, to start with, what I'd like you to do is, can you think of any examples of surveillance that would be used by the police? And try and write down as many as you can. Think about the pictures that were on the first slide and what we just discussed. So can you write down as many different examples of surveillance that would be used by the police as you can? So you want to pause the video at this point, just to write down as many as you can, then we're going to discuss. Now, some of the points you could have had. So for example, CCTV is one form of surveillance used by the police. Other surveillance methods used by Police Scotland, CCTV body cams are used by Police Scotland, monitoring of phones, so hacking phones to monitor them, tracking cars, so putting tracking devices on cars, tracking criminals' movements, so that could be following criminals, and then speed checks on roads using traffic cameras. And that's just some of the surveillance methods used by Police Scotland. Now, 21st century surveillance, the most watched people in the world, question mark. Now, surveillance has actually changed over the years. Nowadays, we can be monitored with our use of technology. Now, many of you will have phones and smartphones. Now, phone masks can place us in particular locations. Now, if you think about Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, which a lot of you may have, they can target us with information based on our discussions or places we have visited. So it's actually quite a scary thought, but if you actually have a discussion with, say, a family member or friend, let's say you're discussing microwaves and you're speaking a lot about microwaves, then if you then check your phone, say, 20 minutes later, and you go on the likes of Facebook, Instagram or Twitter, you'll actually see adverts for microwaves popping up. So they can target us with information based on our discussions or places we visit. So when you walk into certain shops, Again, through Bluetooth and connections, they can realise that you've been in that shop and then that shop can then advertise on your Facebook, Instagram or Twitter feed. Now, if you think about Snapchat, for those of you who have Snapchat, if you think about Snapchat maps, you can actually see where your friends are on Snapchat. So that's a form of surveillance in itself. So our way, with our use of technology nowadays, we all have a technological blueprint, so to say, and we are, our way, the most watched people in the world nowadays. And there's just an example there of the Snapchat maps. So our first thing today was just to decide the different surveillance methods used by the police. So we should have a list of these in our jotter. Now what we're going to do next is to decide if you think facial recognition should be used by Police Scotland. Now, a new surveillance method that's going to potentially be used in the future by Police Scotland is facial recognition. Now, there is a lot of debate about the use of facial recognition and there's a lot of people against facial recognition. This is an example here of outside uh, a stadium in Wales, a football stadium, Cardiff Football Club Stadium, where it says stop facial recognition, Big Brother Watch, defending civil liberties, protecting privacy. So that was people campaigning against the use of facial recognition because they feel it's an invasion of their privacy. Now, what I'd like you to do is to watch the following clip to find out about surveillance in China. And this talks you through a wee bit about facial recognition. Now, this is a link here. I will also post a link in the instructions for the teams uh, or in your team's for this week and you'll be able to watch this. This um, short video only lasts about six or seven minutes, talks you through how surveillance is actually used in China, especially the use of facial recognition. So if you want to pause the video at this point and watch this clip. Now facial surveillance and Police Scotland. Now Police Scotland said it hoped to use the software of facial recognition by 2026 but later put plans on hold for this. The technology can scan crowds of people and cross-reference faces with police databases. However, MSPs 
have warned that there's no justification for using live facial recognition following privacy and human rights concerns, so they feel that it's not suitable that it should be being used. The technology can also lead to false alarms, so it may match you with someone that you look similar to on a police database, but obviously it isn't you. And due to this, plans have now been put on hold for facial recognition. So there are people that argue facial recognition would be a great method to use. It would allow people to be spotted in large crowds and to match their faces up with police databases. Others would argue that it's an invasion of privacy and it can lead to false alarms as well. So task number two for today. What we're looking to do is to get your views on facial recognition. So what you're being asked to do is to write a letter to the editor of a newspaper, either supporting or opposing the potential use of facial recognition by Police Scotland. So to start you off, you've got here, Dear Sirs, I'm writing to express my outrage slash wholehearted support for the use of facial recognition technology by Police Scotland. The use of this will, and then you would go from there. So if you're against facial recognition, you will start off by saying, I'm writing to express my outrage for the use of facial recognition technology by Police Scotland, or if you think it should be used, then I'm writing to express my wholehearted support for facial recognition by Police Scotland. Now, try and put lots of detail in this letter and give your reasons for your arguments about why you think facial recognition should or should not be used. Okay, so over to you. Thank you again for your efforts in this lesson. So what you're looking to upload via Teams is the following two tasks. So task number one, what is surveillance and a list of surveillance methods used by police? And task number two, your view on facial surveillance use in Scotland. So if you think it should be used or shouldn't be used. If you have any questions at all about anything covered in this lesson, then just ask your class teacher. Thank you.